Hey guys, I'm Brie. Welcome back to Beat by Brie and to my continuing saga of The Truth Will Set You Free. Uh, episode unknown part of how many parts, I don't fucking know. So I made another adjustment here. I think it'll be better instead of me playing the sound from my iPad. Um, I hooked up a speaker, so I don't know if you could hear it in the last ones. Again, I'm not re-recording any of this shit. For those of you, if anyone is joining me for the first time, I don't know, I'd highly suggest watching other ones first because I'm just going through this shit to get it off my chest. So that's really what this video is about. I don't know. Again, nobody's watching, so I got me a speaker now. So let's go back to where we left off on 10 20 2018 with some voicemails that John left me. We already did the first one. Let's just see what the second one is. We got voicemail. It's just not fair at all. Like for you to put all of the weight of your mental illness on me and then say that I'm the crazy one because I don't go down crazy road like i'm not going down that path any longer it makes no sense rationally as a sane person who's been through a lot because i decided to accept a mentally ill person in my life that's me mentally ill that maybe i can help you what help do i, I want from you? you i don't want your help you need help from a professional and i'm not one i'm not a doctor dude i had a psychiatrist I, I have never a second. be able to help you through whatever is wrong, or whatever you're angry about, whatever happened to you along the way. You, you happened to me. Give you your narcissistic supply anymore. I can't. I won't. I tried being nice. I tried being mean. I tried disappearing. I tried everything. But you're blocked, and and I've asked you to stay away. And then mean, stop and leaving me voicemails. Because every time I, I think that maybe, you know, okay, maybe you're starting to get a little better, it's all a lie, and it's all a mask, and I'm never going to allow it again. Like, and stop. Stop you, leaving your voice Just stop. Hang up right now. Hang up, then. Hang up! Knowing exactly who I am, that I'm always there for the people I care about. Really? I have had best friends in my life, and still do. Since I was eight years old. Good for you. I'm friends with every single. I still have minus one who's passed away. Congratulations. It's good statistic. No Do you want a trophy? Bet. Good job. You have no friends or no communication with any ex people in your life. Uh, Literally not no true and irrelevant. I've never met anybody that has no friends. Like, it's very odd and strange. Not true, but again. It makes complete sense now that I've been with you and understood who you are. And I've asked you over and over again as a rational person. And I put it to you over and over again, especially in the final email that I sent you. There is no compromise on this. Then stop leaving no me voicemails. Shut the fuck up. I have Shut the fuck up. Slowly developing an emotional relationship with someone else. And I think I might be in love, like real love. Then leave me alone. And that's what I was calling Leave to me tell the you. fuck alone. I'm in love with somebody else. Congratulations. And it, I, Leave I me don't alone. Don't do anything for you anymore. I don't want to hurt you because uh, you think that for some reason in your head that I'm in some relationship with you when I'm not. Then leave me alone. It's been over for a long time, and I've Stop calling me. Away, and you've moved away. Stop leaving me four minute voicemails. Shut the forth. fuck up. Go it away. I hope you stay on the other side and move on to. And I hope that you do. And I'm hoping you are able to find someone that you know you can uh, identify with. Great. But Leave me alone then. It's been over with me for a long time, and I. I then hang up the phone. What I think about you and what I, I've, I've thought about how I've acted, and you know, I forgive myself and I forgive you, and I forgive myself for allowing you in my life. I forgive myself for allowing things to happen. Shut I, up, I, then. You've got to take it and go. It's time for you to go. It's been time for a while. Okay, shut up then. So promise hang up. me. Hang we'll up. Stay away. Okay. Yes, I promise. Hang up. Promise me Hang you'll up. leave me alone. I promise. Hang up. Just stick to one thing one time. Yes, I promise. Stay away from me and just move on and go be happy somewhere else. Like I, I will. I promise. Go work your nights and... Scout's you know, honor. I promise. Shut up. Do stuff, but don't tell me. I don't care. That's on you. I won't listen to you. I won't answer your calls. I will just delete I'm not calling. Calls, so don't I'm up. not calling you. I'm not calling you. Just get deleted. I don't want any more emails. I don't I'm not care. emailing you. It doesn't matter anymore. You're, you've long overstayed your welcome, and 
Dude, uh, shut the fuck up. Make that clear as day, but that was voicemail two out of uh one, two, six, I think. Three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine. That was voicemail two out of nine, telling me he's fucking someone else, doesn't care about me, wants me to go away, stop calling, stop whatever. That was just the second voicemail. These are all, by the way, um, in from 10, 19, 18 at 11, 39 p.m. to 10, 20, 18 at 12, 13 a.m. So, like, 24 hours. You left me nine four-minute voicemails telling me to stop calling you and emailing you, and I'm not. Like, don't leave me the third voicemail. Don't leave me the fifth voicemail. You played it clear in the second voicemail that you've seen someone else, that you don't love me, that you hate me, I'm psychotic, and whatever. Don't leave me seven more voicemails. Voicemail three. I outsmarted you and got away. I didn't offer any more positive advice when I knew exactly what you needed to do when, when you lost your job. You lost your job because you went crazy. You drove yourself crazy and decided you weren't going to just go to work or you were going to walk out again. Like, because you were so angry. Because it, uh, for whatever reason, you deemed it more important than your job. It's like whenever you get angry, you just deem things to be more important than reality at that moment in time. I mean, it definitely came down to your level. And I definitely compromised what I believe in, but... I knew what I needed, and, like, honestly, I tried to be a good friend to you, dude, but you just... Stop leaving me voicemails. You know what I mean? Like, it just wasn't going to work, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you've listened to me, and I'm glad that, you know, I've listened to your concerns, and, um, and I, I hope that, you know, down the road, when, you know, you, you, you've gotten some help and you're okay, that... You look back and you, you understand, like, damn, like, you were fucking really, like, beating me up pretty good. Like, was I? How? My life definitely changed because of you, and it's definitely How? changed because you left it, too. What the fuck and are you talking I, about? Thank you for You're leaving welcome. because it You're welcome. was the best You're welcome thing for that's leaving. happened in a long time, and I hope you understand that, honestly, like, I'm speaking to you truthfully. I meant every word that I said in that email. I get it. Every You've already referenced this supposed email where you meant every word. Well, Shut the me fuck up. On and me not even thinking about it anymore. Like, I don't have any regrets at all. Like, I've already moved on and that's it. Great. Like, then stop leaving me voicemails. I've already moved on and that's it. You don't know about the relationship that I'm actually in. I don't care. Don't that's why I don't know. I don't, I don't. The direction of my career. You don't know the direction of, you know, where I'm going in life or, you know, what my plans are. But they don't involve you, and I can't have you continually popping up and trying to cause a relapse of from all the abuse that you delivered along the way. You might not recognize abuse because you might think it was something that you know I deserved at the time, or whatever you rationalize or actualize in your head is fine with me. Just stay away with it from now on. Like as far away as you can get from me, the better. I have no interest in contacting you i want you to leave me alone i don't read your emails they go into a spam folder you're blocked on social media did you do realize you're you the know, one leaving me four minute voicemails nine of them I in a 24-hour period right on you and you do happen. realize this is your voice on my voicemail that. leaving me nine you. emails in 24 you. fucking hours don't show up in my house randomly don't book sephora appointments along the you know on this side of i can book a sephora appointment wherever so the fuck i want by the way motherfucker check on me don't even inquire about what I'm doing because I'm not going to tell you it's none of your business. Like, I'm not. I've Thank made you. it very clear to you. So just take the hint and go away. Get the help. Find someone else that makes you happy. And I, I wish you the best in life, but just stay away from me. Okay. Done. From the bottom of my heart, like, you were really nice to me up front. And then you were really terrible to me the rest of the way. Mm hmm. And I've recovered from that, and I'm doing oh, a lot you better. You poor victim. You poor little be recovering victim. If you, the only way I could be better is if you continue to stay away. So Continue you know, to stay away. So you admit we'll that I am staying away. Because of that, but do whatever you got to do. You don't have the ability to affect me emotionally because I understand exactly who you are and exactly what's wrong with you. Shut the fuck up. I don't want you around me in my life, and I don't expect that you'll show up, but I know that you will. I know I'll get a voicemail talking about how sad you are, and I don't care. Like, keep that shit to yourself, move on, and go away. Like, you know, 
take all the drugs you want and go to sleep. Like, sweet. Like, you, you need mean to my do, ambient? Like, to fix yourself and do it. That I'm legally like, prescribed by my psychiatrist for your life. insomnia. Okay. Oh, that was the end of that one. Okay, so that's number three, right? Yeah, we got three. Number four. I mean, being blocked and banned is exactly what you need. And, uh, you know, I've tried to, you know, make sure you're not going to kill yourself or anything like that. Like you've I never did. Along the way or all Thank the you. hoping that you're dying or the insane theories that you've got a dead baby in your belly or that you've got a giant tumor in your throat from doing all the nitrous and drugs. Like, get help, dude. Like, my mind is as clear as day. I don't have one pill in me. I don't smoke pot. I don't drink. I don't do anything. You do smoke pot. Like, I drink for Red Bull and, you know, and later I'd find out that he's addicted to meth at this point, too. So you are talk doing to drugs. That, that are, uh, have the ability to care. And I'm not going to mask my problems. But my problems are, are Why are you well still talking? You. Like, you're not a problem for me. Like, it's not a problem anymore. Much to me in order for you to be It's a not a problem so anymore. I'm not interested in what you have to say or what you do. It's not a problem anymore. I don't care about anymore. you that much. I don't think about it anymore. I used to. But I've smartened up and wised up, and I've realized that you are... Someone that it will do anything to hurt someone else to protect your own ego and get your narcissistic oh, supply you from abuse and smear campaigns and you'll lie to people like judges and police and friends to get someone else in trouble. Like you believe that there is no way that there's something really wrong with you deep down inside. And you're what's uh, wrong with me, dude. Know, being honest with the doctor. You is probably the first place for you what to go. What the fuck are you talking but, about? You know, I thought you might need a friend through all that. And, you know, all a you've friend? Are you my friend? That, you You're know, not my we friend. had this weird relationship thing, and we haven't. And we we had a weird and relationship. And we moved on. And, like, I am interested deeply in someone else. And Then stop I'm leaving me waste walls. Just stop talking and, right now and go and be now with now that someone else. Stop. I've gotten... Everything my, in my house is clean and organized. Good job, you have a clean again. house again. Why are you bragging gone. about a clean house? I feel great. I, yeah. I thank you for at least being adult about it and moving away and moving to your family and going to try to be under the supervision of Dude, I moved home because I couldn't because pay my fucking bills be, because I got fired because of you. you. I didn't move home to be under supervision of my and fucking and mother. You, you know, fucking insane piece of shit. I don't even know what goes through your head, but when we haven't been in a relationship for a long time, and I've asked you to leave me alone over and over. You again, made it very clear then. what you think about me, and again, it isn't just me that's sitting here listening to this anymore. Right, it's the internet and, uh, now. You know, I've got years of you on recordings and videos of you just flipping out and attacking me. I've got picture after picture of me bleeding. I've got threat sure after threat from you and lie mm -hmm. after lie that yeah. judges and courts recorded mm -hmm. everything on you. Got it. To make sure that you would never be able to, to get to me the way that you did. And, and honestly, the further away you are, the better off I am. If you don't call me or bother me, I'll never speak to you again. I don't even think about you. Like, Good. I don't care at all. Don't leave me four more messages then. Over. I've learned from it and I've moved on and I thank you for the lesson that I learned. Oh, God. And Man, uh, so I do wish you the best in life. I just don't want you in mine. Cool. So, I don't I want you in mind either. Connection that you need. I just can't have you around. Oh, you're still me, talking. Spewing nonsense at me and bringing me up and down and all around on your roller coaster of psychotic behavior and mm -hmm. bipolar mm -hmm. disorder. Mm -hmm. You have multiple issues that need oh, to be addressed. Do I? And you should start by being really honest with Hazel. Be really honest. That's my psychiatrist. With so that he can actually diagnose you and quit giving you lithium and quit giving you eight other different Lithium is for bipolar disorder. Together with a a nice Xanax cocktail and start spewing nonsense and ruining people's fuck. lives. Like, you did a good job, you know, haven't you done enough? What are you talking about at this point? Just stop talking. Oh, that's the end of that one. Uh, that was one. So we got one, two, three, four. Let's go at number five. It's time for you to go. Like, it's been time a long time ago. The sun's done up, everybody's gone. You're the only one there. And, and whatever was good about the initial part of the relationship was bullshit because you literally lied your way into my life. What the fuck are you talking you about? You hid the fact that you really had problems. And then 
you blame me for reacting and finding out things along the way that were just like completely out of the realm of normal or feasible in any way. Like, uh, you can blame me till the moon and I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I don't blame, blame you. I've already forgiven myself and beyond the Oh, you forgave yourself? Good. I've definitively had no connection with you in so long. And Dude, this is, this really is the fifth four-minute voicemail you've left me in less than 24 that hours. What happened years ago is something that's happening today, but it's not. Like, I, I can't do anything else to tell you. I've shown you, I've sent you emails and text messages and told you, like, I've got emotional connections with other people. Then and stop. I'm not with you. And I shut up really right now. Hang up the phone and don't leave me for more voicemails. You want to be around me like we could try to be friends. Like, oh, friends. I don't want to be friends. That's why I'm not responding to your voicemails. I'm there for you because that's who I am, which is why I have the people in my life that I do. I don't think you'll ever be able to comprehend that. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I just need you to stop. I did. You said you You're the one that's still going. You didn't. I listened to you rant. I put you on mute and let you speak out loud freely in a normal setting where you are not being the, the protective lying narcissist that you are and just speak to me the way that you do. And it's completely unacceptable. It's like two hours of ranting and raving the other night. Completely unacceptable. Dude, you just left me nine four-minute voicemails and you're saying and I ranted and raved for two hours? Child, childish behavior is not something I'm interested in. I have really gone through a lot and I can't thank you enough for not being able to pull yourself out of the hole that you were in and having to move away. It's not far enough as far as I'm concerned, but I appreciate the good things that you did for me along the way. And I'm definitely ashamed of the reactions that I had to your behavior, but I learned along the way that My it's behavior. not worth it. And that having somebody that's abusive isn't I'm abusive. It. And having somebody that isn't going to be true with themselves or listen to anybody else and just going to believe what they want to believe and spew a bunch of nonsense out of their mouth uh, isn't worth my time and you haven't done. Then and shut the fuck up and get the fuck over. off the phone for the last goddamn time. I haven't connected Stop with you forever. Stop talking. And I, I, I hope that you do find the connection that you need. You should probably just be alone for a little bit and get some help first before you start going out Why? there and trying to ruin somebody else. I'm not going out there in You did a good job of, of, of beating me up pretty good. And I'm going to be recovering still for a long time. Oh, my but gosh, you're recovering, you poor victim. Me, you're such a victim. You little victim. Supportive. You need to recover and from and my you abuse, you fucking victim. You mm. certainly do not. So victim, it's, victim, it's I'm a victim, I'm, I'm John, and I'm a fucking that. victim. For any and all that you've done to me, I'm just happy now that I don't have to see your face or hear any more weird voicemails or, or terrible phone calls. I don't have to worry about you showing up at my house. Like, I'm not I don't have to house. worry about your, the crazy things that you'll do when you are you. And every day, that makes it a little bit better. I blocked you and everything. I told you you blocked permanently. You're the one You're calling me, I'm dude. Only communicating with me, and I mean it. And it... that was voice number five. Six. I mean, it should be clear, right? It should be very clear, like. I have begged you to leave me alone for a long time. The fact that you moved in across the street from me was psychotic. The fact that you needed to lie about who you were and what you were about is psychotic. The fact that you were like completely mentally unstable no, is insane. Like you're mentally ill and I accepted you for who you were, but I didn't understand like what that meant. I didn't understand that meant that you got to abuse me and take me on a roller coaster ride up and down and all around and had actually no ability to connect with me emotionally. Like it was all what you needed as for your narcissistic supply. You're a narcissist. Like you have this ego thing that you need. It's like a drug. Why do you cry and, 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 and go crazy when I don't speak to you? I've tried 
very hard not to have you around. I've asked you politely. I've done the court you realize thing. this is a six, four I, minute voicemail I, you're leaving I, me, right? If you don't want me around, just don't angry. leave me a fucking voicemail. Just My stop leaving me four minute voicemails. It was all intended for you to wake up, listen to what I'm saying, and go away. But you continue to hang around, and I've honestly needed you to move more than anything. I'm healthy now, dude. Like, Good for you, but I you're really a addicted to math right now. And I'll find that out in about a month. Job. I don't need Allegedly. you to come around and disrupt my life anymore. I've been through that already. And, and, and your opinions are really your own opinions of yourself that you're projecting on me. What are you talking about? And it's about? awesome to listen to you talk because I know that's exactly what is true about you when it comes out of your mouth. What the fuck are you talking you about? You never listen to anybody, but damn, you'll project your own fucking shortcomings onto someone else. And I meant everything that I said about that email. That email was... Oh, that email again. We're referencing the email, email again. You've, You've already told me you meant something in an email. I think it's like the sixth time. You actually think about it. So that you I don't care. Like one time, just get the hint and go find somebody that's more like you. Okay, I, I will. Stop you. leaving me four minute voicemails then. Like, in... I, yes, I have good relationships with other people. Good for you. That bothers you. Good for you. No, it doesn't, yes. baby. I still talk to plenty of people in my life. Yes, I have support groups. Yes, a lot of ex girlfriends are my friends. Oh, ex girlfriends like, are your friends. Weird. An extensive Weird thing to say. People <laughs> that are awesome people that don't have a problem. And the way I've spoken to you, I've spoken to you nicely. I've spoken to you You've spoken to me nicely? Terribly. I regret nasty things that have come out of my mouth, and it took me some time to repair myself. You but repaired? Because you're still talking. You're still better. fucking talking. And you coming around this week has just been like, my skin has crawled. Like, it's really from the crank box from your fucking meth addiction, but allegedly. Of, like, how much I really dislike you and wish that you would just go away and vanish and not show up in my house pretending like I'm in some weird relationship with you. I'm not. Then hang I up have the emotional phone. connections with other people. You've already told me emotional no, connections with other people. Now stop like, calling me. Stop leaving me messages. Hang up the phone. Psychotic net. My psychotic when net. You You're in my net. Me, Ooh. Put your hands all over me. Ooh, I put my hands on you. Mm, I'm harassing you and holding you, and holding you hostage. Dying to get out of oh, good. You're out of it then. Lee, hang up Those right now. Are long gone. I can't accept the fact that you will come around me ever. I'm not. You think it's okay somewhere up there, and I've asked you over and over to leave me alone. And I'm asking you again to go ahead and read that email. <laughs> read it. Dude, you sent it to me three times. Exactly three different new colors. Font. Exactly, 100%. I've asked you nicely. You... We're almost done with this. All right, so we're on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six... Lucky number seven. 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 I and mean, it should be clear, right? It should be very clear. Like, I have begged you to leave me alone for a long time. The fact that you moved in across the street from me was psychotic. The fact that you needed to lie about who you were and what you were is about the is psychotic. The fact that you were, like, completely mentally unstable is insane like you're mentally ill and i accepted you for who you were but i didn't understand like what that meant i think it's the same voicemail i didn't understand that meant that you got to abuse me and take me on a roller coaster ride up maybe and... we already did this one hold on one two three four five six seven oh that's in there twice okay my bad there were only eight voicemails in a 24-hour period I sent one twice. Huh. Maybe if you took care of things like a real person or like a, a normal human or like a real woman. Oh, I'm not a woman? Running from your problems or I'm a real woman. Or treating people like shit. Maybe people wouldn't think those things about you. What do they think about me, but dude? Tell me what I'm they think. Calm. I Good, you're calm. Ooh, you ooh bring up the email again. Ooh, I love that, that email. That was the most honest I've ever been. I don't think about you at all anymore. Dude, you've left me it's, it's eight four-minute for voicemails to, to in 24 hours. That the way that you treat me is acceptable 
or normal or sane. And then my reactions are the only thing that you see. To me, that's the most insane thing I've literally ever heard in my life. And I have no problem moving away because I don't think about you and I don't care. And the further away you are from me, the happier I am. I am healthy and recovered over here. I got a job. I have a clean house. I don't drink or go out or do anything that's crazy. I don't want any more crazy in my life. I don't even understand. Is that the same voicemail too? But it just, they all just sound the same. Maybe if you took care of things, like a real person, or like a, a normal... I don't even know. Anyway, that's enough of that. That was between 10.19 at 11.39 and 10.20 at 12.13. Oh, no. Oh, there's more? No. Okay, so... That is... <clears throat> This is what I sent myself. Ten twenty at eight seventeen a.m. So like less than twelve hours after that voicemail rant ended, John sent me an email that said, "Hope you're happy." On 1020 at 8.51 a.m., John sent an email saying, it was titled Number, saying, changing my number today. Good luck in life. You want to be alone, so you get what you want. Hope you're happy. I was calling to apologize last night and tell you I got a job. Doesn't matter. Nothing ever does when you refuse to listen. I believed in you, your loyal partner and only friend. All for nothing, but at least you're happy now. You were calling to apologize? Apologize. This was apologizing? This was apologizing. Apologize. Dude, if that's how you fucking apologize, like, oh, you fucking okay. I replied. Because back then I would reply to shit. I'd like to defend myself. I'd like to try to stand up for myself. I thought reply, like, whatever. Anyway, I replied, cool. Just cool. He then replied to cool with... <clears throat> Wasn't fair I resented you for not being someone I could take seriously. That was on me. I've been in love with another woman our entire relationship. That must have been a tough pill to swallow. You weren't ever that person to me. I never felt deeply about you and you should have and should have cut you loose long ago. I'm sorry I couldn't love you. Take care, dude. You'll find the right guy eventually. I replied to that with, if what you say is true, then stop emailing me and leave me alone because I don't care about whatever you have to say. Have fun, dude. To which John replied, What the fuck is, oh my God. John replied to that with, LOL, guess you'll never know since you don't care about me or my and my son. We will see how you feel if you lose us and can't get us back because you couldn't get over yourself and neglected me. I've been lo like, 
it hurts to say this. I've been loyal to you and you're going to have to face some hard realities if you don't get your shit together. I have to just blow this up right here. I've been loyal to you. Dude, you do know that the top of this email... I'm sorry, your third email says, I've been in love with another woman our entire relationship. Hold on. I'm trying to blow it up, but... <sighs> Fuck it. Anyway. Um, yeah, right here. Let's go with that one. I've been in love with another woman our entire relationship. Like, I know this is backwards, whatever. I'm just like, whatever. Fuck it. And then in the next thing, you say... Like, this hurts to read this. It's just, not hurts emotionally. Hurts, like, mentally because it's fucking insane. I've been loyal to you, and you're going to have to face some hard realities if you don't get your shit together. Your time is running out. Another opportunity is slipping away because you won't cut the bullshit, drop the game, stop lying. We will see what you do, but I think you know you already fucked up. Missed you at the train park. This is a picture of his son at the train park. Again, a picture with his son on top of this building at a park. And then him in his car. He replies to his own reply. It's getting really exhausting. <clears throat> oh, 32 minutes. So I'll finish this and then <coughs> cut. But okay, so dude, you can't have children and you had your chance to have a family as close to your own kid as you could have possibly imagined. Let me, refer let me repeat that. Dude, you can't have children and you had your chance to have a family as close to your own kid as you could have possibly imagined. You won't get another shot if you don't do something significant. Once the door closes, it's locked. No chance will wait around for you to wake up realizing you let it slip through your fingers. Prop bets have become my new fascination. If I placed a bet on if you'd keep losing or turn it around, what do you think I'd bet on? Emoji. Then he replies his own reply. I hate being right. What? I replied to that, quoting him. I've been in love with another woman. I've been in love with another woman our entire relationship. That must have been a tough pill to swallow. You, were n you weren't ever that person to me. I never felt deeply about you and should have cut you loose long ago. End quote, John. Then I replied to myself, God, I'm so funny. Quote, I've been loyal to you, dot, 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 end quote, John. I then said another reply, John, if you ever want me to care enough about you again to do something significant to save our relationship, then maybe you should stop constantly gaslighting me. According to your own words, you've either been in love with someone else our whole relationship or you've been loyal to me, but it cannot be both. Tell me the truth. Which one is it? All I hear from you is crickets. Again, I send another reply. John, your silence speaks for itself. Who do you think you are expecting me to care or want to be friends with you when you won't even give me an answer on which of your words I'm supposed to believe is the truth? Don't bother answering me now or even responding to this email because I don't want to hear another one of your delusional lies packaged as truth. 
I've grown tired and bored of this pointless back and forth with you that always gets us nowhere. Nothing will ch ever change and the fighting between us will never stop. All efforts to communicate with you have resulted in nothing except a total waste of my time. I've had enough of your gaslighting bullshit, so I'm finally giving up on you and pulling the plug on this toxic relationship. This is the end. Goodbye. Take care, Brie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> then he replies... <laughs> I sent that at 4.14 p.m. He replies at 9.20 p.m. I'm sorry, dude. Didn't know you were trying to reach me. I found these emails in my junk folder marked as spam. <laughs> I'm just going to move on. Oh, next video. Peace.